What's up guys? Today we're going to go over how to make a 2x2 trap door. So I have a trap door denoted with gold blocks here. It's flush with the ground. And when I press a button, it will drop me into whatever I have under it, which could be a secret room or a secret base or lava or, you know, whatever. All right, so I've broken it up a little bit to show you the extent of the redstone under the ground. So you're going to need at least four blocks on one side of your two by two area. So this is my two by two area. We have one, two, three, four blocks. And this is the side that we put these like pistons on. Then on the side opposite of that, we're gonna need another four blocks for the same reason. And then aside from, uh, on one of the sides adjacent to this one, in my case, it's the one to the right. If I'm looking at it from this perspective, we're gonna need two blocks. And then on the other side, we're gonna need three blocks on that side. So you're gonna need a fair amount of space uh, for the dimensions. Then you're going to need a little bit of space underground. So this is your, uh, whoops, your floor, right? So this is your ground. Then we're going to need to go one, two, three, four blocks underground. And mainly because we need to have this redstone line right here. Um, if you're making a base or something and you want to make the ceiling different without breaking this and then potentially ruining it and having to come up and fix it, um, I would recommend making this block right here your ceiling so that you can change whatever block you have and not end up messing up the redstone. Okay, so I filled everything in so that we can start from scratch and I can show you exactly what you need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is place the button that will open and, uh, and it will automatically shut, but it'll open the trapdoor. So the first thing we do is we go up two blocks. So from, if I have these, these are my two by two blocks. I go to the right and then I go up two, so these two, and then I go over one and I place the button. Um, so it'll, it's not exactly diagonal, but it's uh, up to and over one from any of the rotations. It doesn't matter what the rotation is as long as you're consistent throughout the video. Uh, but at this point, it doesn't matter. So I put it right here. Then what we do is we have uh, this side, so right under the button. This is where we're gonna have four pistons. So I'm going to carve out my four blocks that I said we needed, and I'm going to go down by three blocks for now. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on the other side. So we go down by three blocks. And then we go four out like that. Okay. So now we need to place pistons under the gold blocks. Um, and they need to have one a one block gap. So we need to place them like this across all four of them. So we will go like this. And place them like that. So that they should be facing up and there's a one block gap. So that when they're extended, they're in the, uh, the flush with the ground position. Next, what we do is we also do the same thing with side ones where we place pistons facing into these pistons and we place another ones uh, facing into this open gap. And there should also be a gap right here so that when they are extended, they will be in this position right here. And we'll do that on the other side too. So do that. So that you have four pistons there and four pistons there and then you have four pistons under the gold right there. And there should be one block gap when they are retracted. Okay. Next, what we'll do is we will place uh, any opaque block here uh, and this is so that we can power the pistons. All right, so now I'm gonna hook up the pistons that we have on the ground on the sides here. So this will be done a little bit differently if you're in Java or Bedrock Edition. So I'm playing in Java Edition, so I wanna place two repeaters here facing into the top piston. And this is because this is the way I can uh, have both of them extend only using one redstone signal. So I could do that and it will uh, extend both of these instead of just the top one. Um, if you do this and you don't know if you're on Java or Bedrock and only the top one extends, uh, you'll know that you're in Bedrock Edition. And if both of them extend, assuming you have it wired like this, then you're in Java. So if you don't know, that's a really easy check. Um, I'm in Java, so I do have to do that. If you are in Bedrock Edition, it, the, the fix is simple. You just put dust here instead. Um, and if you put dust here, you will have the dust attached to the piston. Um, even if you have two right like this, it, like if you do this, it will go into the piston also, whereas in Java Edition, it doesn't. Um, we can see that it's not going into it. Um, so I'm in Java, so I'm gonna do the Java Edition version. But again, if you're in Bedrock, make sure that this is dust and not repeaters. Um, and it's it'll be pretty evident if it's not working. Then we go to the other side, we do the same thing. So I'm in Java, so I put repeaters and then redstone dust. Next, what we're gonna do is go to uh, the rest of the redstone for the button. Um, this is the most complicated part, so I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off. So I'm gonna carve three blocks out. So I'm gonna go three blocks this way and I'm gonna carve it out so I have some space uh, just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is place redstone dust immediately under the button. So we have the block that the button's on and then we'll have redstone dust and it should turn on 
when you press the button. Uh, so make sure that happens. Then we go to, uh, you know, the direction that the door is in. So this block right here, if I'm at it, looking at it from this orientation, and we place a redstone torch right here, and I'm going to carve some more blocks out so that I can see what I'm doing still. Okay. Now what, what we're going to do is place repeaters into these pistons right here. Um, these will be the same between Bedrock and Java Edition. And I'll place a, whoops, I'll place a redstone dust here. These should also be delay one. These should be delay one. And if you're in Java Edition, these should be delay one. Um, of course, Bedrock, it's just dust, so there is no delay. All right, so off of this, what we will do is go uh, over to this side. So I'm going to carve out more stuff. We need to be able to get into the redstone here, but we don't want to place any redstone here and have it interfere with anything. So I'm going to place like a pillar here just so we don't do that. I'm going to take this redstone signal right here and I'm just going to bring it over to uh, because I'm OCD. We're going to bring it over to this one. And right before we go into this little area, we're going to cook up this one with a repeater of delay four. Um, so you'll have this situation going on. Now the other side's a little bit more awkward just because of the torch being there. So first of all, uh, we need to place a redstone dust here. And the only reason for this is so that this connection where this uh, dust is facing into that block goes away. So if we do that, it will face away and there'll be no more connection. And the reason for that is if you have a block here and you do this, when you press the button, this will be powered and that will uh, interfere with some of your pistons here. Whereas if you do this, this block will no longer be powered and you don't have an issue. Um, so that's just an awkward thing we have to do, but we got to do it. Next, what we're going to do is place a redstone dust here that also grabs it from the torch. We're going to go down two blocks here. And this is just so that we can avoid this redstone here without having to like cut it off or something. Uh, we're just going to go down and avoid it. Then we're going to bring it back up. Replace all my stuff with stone, uh, with grass, because that's needed. Not actually, it's not actually needed. It doesn't matter what block it is. Okay, and I'm going to place another repeater of delay four, same as the other side that goes into this little redstone thing and hook it up. Um, so they should be kind of symmetric uh, so that we can see it. They should be symmetric on both sides where we have the torch hooking up to redstone and then that goes into delay four, which goes into these pistons. That has a delay four, which goes into these pistons. Now we have to go under it so that we can do this on the other side. So starting from here, we are just going to carve under it uh, so I might have, I might need to go down one more block. Maybe not though. No, it, this is, this is fine. So we go under it. We place our redstone dust. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to get rid of the torch so that it like gets all the stuff out of my way. Um, so we carved this block out and I place dust. So if I place dust here, we can see that it's attached to the one that we can't see. Then I go like, uh, do that one there. So it should be immediately under these pistons and we're just going to the other side. I can now go to the other side and I will carve out a few blocks here so that I can, of course, see what I'm doing. Then we have redstone dust here. We can have redstone dust here. And then all we have to do is place repeaters uh, right there that will face into, um, I can replace this one. Well, repeaters that face into these pistons, um, same as on the other side. And then we just have the redstone dust attached to that. Okay. So if we press the button and we did everything correctly, we should see that it in fact opens and then it should automatically close when the button is done. Um, I'm going to warn you, stone buttons are uh, on for less time than wooden buttons. Um, so I use the stone button, which it also works fine, and a wooden button would work even better because it's going to be open for longer. Um, I just want to point that out. If you want it open for longer than this, you can use a wooden button. All right. So now we can fill everything in. Um, so the blocks that don't have any redstone on them, we can just fill in like normal. Uh, we can fill in these ones. Then we can fill in all the blocks above it. Um, if you hold shift on the, if like you hold shift down and then you right click on a repeater, you can place a block without changing the delay. Um, you can also, of course, just right click the ground like that. We can fill those in. We can fill these in. Uh, what I want to be careful though of is when you're filling it in, do not uh, make make sure you don't cut off redstone. So if I place a block here, it's going to cut off this this side, uh, and it will turn off this redstone. So when you're filling it in, be careful of that because then it's not going to work anymore. If I press the button now, it's not going to pull that side out. So just be aware of that. 
Uh, so we go this one, and then we can do this one down here. Uh, then we can fill that one in. We can fill this one in. Fill these ones in. Uh, I can I can do it here, and I can do it here, and I can do it all the way on this one. We can do it here. We can do it here, and I'm just filling it in. Uh, it doesn't really have to be filled in, but I do it anyways. Hold shift, and then we can fill in the rest of it. And then likewise, these ones, um, we can just place the blocks above it. And I'm doing this kind of fast. Really, the only thing you need to know is to not cut off corners like this. That is the important thing. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't matter how you do it at all. Just don't cut off the corner so that you don't cut off the redstone. Okay. Um, so I left my little building under there. So if we did it right, we should have the exact same thing that I had in the demonstration, where it kind of dumps you down into here. And then down here can be whatever you would like. All right, guys, that'll be for this video. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time.